Hello all, today we'll be discussing about voting classifier. In voting classifier, we basically have two different techniques that is called as hard voting classifier and soft voting classifier. Many of them have not heard this term about voting classifier, but this is one of the most sub-important topic in every machine learning algorithm or in most of the machine learning algorithms. Uh, this kind of voting classifier is basically used in ensemble techniques. I hope everybody have heard of ensemble techniques. If you have not, I've already created many videos on that. Please go and have a look. In ensemble, you basically have two types. One is bagging and the other one is something called as boosting. In ba bagging, I've already discussed about random forest. In boosting, I've already discussed about XGBoost. My next video will be actually on something called as ADA boost. Okay, so we'll be discussing about that in my next video. But we are focusing more on voting classifier. Now, in order to understand hard voting classifier and soft voting classifier, let me just take a very simple example. Suppose I am discussing about a random forest classifier. Okay, suppose this is my random forest classifier. Now, in random forest classifier, we have a data set. Suppose this is my D. Now, as you know that we create parallel multiple models like M1. Okay, this models will basically be created with the help of decision tree in that inside random forest M3, M4 and this four models suppose I have, I, I basically have four decision trees inside my random forest classifier. Okay, now <clears throat> what in, in random forest what we do is that we take a sample of a data set like S1 and other sample of data set with replacement. This, this step is whole called as bootstrapping. Okay, so bootstrapping, you know that random <clears throat> random forest is also called as bootstrap aggregation. So what we do, we take sample of data, we provide it to each and every model, which is my decision tree. This model get trained on this particular sample of data and it will give us some accuracy. And finally, we calculate the average accuracy of this by finding the mean of all this accuracy. When we get the mean of all this accuracy, that will be the accuracy of my <clears throat> random forest classifier. But whenever we give a new test data, and this particular step is basically called as aggregation. Okay, aggregation. We call it as aggregation. That is what a bootstrap, uh, I mean, random forest basically means, which is called as bootstrap aggregation. It is also called as bootstrap aggregation. Now, suppose I have my white test data. Now, for the white test data, if I want to see how the output is actually predicted. Now, since this is a classifier problem, suppose I have two categories of output, then my model M1, suppose for white test, it is giving it as zero. For model M2, it says that the output is one. For a model M3, it is saying that the output is one. And for a model M4, it is saying the output is one. Now, in hard voting classifier, what it what it does is that it goes and check. It goes and check whether the model is basically giving zeros or ones. Now, here we can see that only model M1 has given me zero, whereas other models like M1, M2, M3, sorry, M2, M3, M4 is basically giving me one. So it will go and see that whether maximum number of model is giving me the output as one or whether it is giving it as zero. Now here you can clearly see that maximum number of models or the decision tree is basically giving the output as one. So the hard voting classifier, what it does is that since maximum number of models are giving the output as one, it will go and predict for this particular white edge data, the output will be actually one. This is very, very simple. And this is how the voting classifier works. Now you know that Hard voting classifier is getting used in many ensemble techniques. It is also getting used in deep learning. Whenever you also create a custom ensemble technique, there also it will be used. And that is how a hard voting classifier actually works. It's, it tries to see that whether maximum number of models are giving it as a, either of one category or the other category. If maximum number of models are giving the similar kind of category, that is basically selected as the output for that particular whiteness data. And that is how a hard voting classifier works. Now the question rises. How does soft voting classifier works? <clears throat> in soft voting classifier, there is only one change. Instead of giving one output, this soft voting classifier will be giving us probabilities. Probabilities. Now let me just discuss. Now suppose M1 is basically giving me as 0.9% as one. It is saying 0.9% it is one, 0.1% it is zero. Now my M2 is basically saying that 0.8% it is one. This basically means 80% it is one and 0.2, 20% it is zero. Now my M3 suppose it gives 0.7% as one and my uh, M3 is basically giving 0.3 as zero. Okay, similarly my M4 says that 0.6% it is one 
and 0.4 percent it is zero now what it does what what this soft voting classifier will do it will find out the average of all this thing when it finds out the average this average is nothing but 0.9 plus 0.8 plus 0.7 plus 0.6 divided by 4 so you will be somewhere getting around you know 0.85 approximately again i have not calculated it so 0.85 percent it says that this particular model is basically giving us one and if we try to find out the uh, mean of all this right at that time we will be somewhere getting as 0.15 it will be one it will be zero now here we can directly see that 0.85 is greater than 0 0.1 0 0.15 so this probability will be selected that basically means this is the output that will be selected for that y underscore test data and that is how a soft voting classifier works very simple and now i hope you understood the basic difference of a hard voting classifier and soft voting classifier this particular classifier is basically used in both machine learning and deep learning techniques. In most of the ensemble techniques, hard voting classifier actually works. And if you take an example of deep learning, if you, if you know Keras, right? Over there, for every model, there is a functionality called as predict underscore prop A, which is nothing but predict probability. And that is where we are basically going to use the soft voting classifiers, okay? Now, <clears throat> this was all about voting classifier, guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. My next video will be on Ada Boost, and I'm also going to implement some of the projects uh, as I go ahead. Uh, please keep on learning, never give up. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. And uh, God bless you all. Thank you, one and all.